Well, hi there, and welcome to episode 43 of The Evidence. This is your buddy Dave over at Mars X3D, and we have some interesting things to look at today, including some real good old good ones from the archives, and another example of great anomaly work by Jim West, and then my buddy Laszlo Zabulix. I hope I pronounced your name right, man. I, I've never met him in the flesh, but I like this guy. And he lives over there in Croatia or Yugoslavia or something. I don't know. But uh, he made a terrific discovery. And uh, I think you're going to like it. So, let's. oh, by the way, can you see me okay? I felt colorful today. Anyway, let's get into it. See you in a bit. Here we go. Well, this is one I really like. It's from the archives, and uh, when I first ran across this years ago, I thought I had just won the Emmy Award or something. <laughs> I thought, this is great. I really nailed it. Actually, uh, many, many anomalous have found this one, and uh, many of the things we do show on this channel are found by other uh, anomalous as well, and I always try to give credit when I can, but that's kind of tough sometimes. Anyway, let's take a little closer look at this thing in the upper right-hand corner. It seems really obvious to me, the carvings on this sarcophagus-like stone. It kind of reminds me of a Greek motif all along its top, together with parallel ridges along the perimeter. And to the right is a large square stone, which seems broken off from the main body. Its square end is easy to see, and... It's marked with a white diagonal line or ridge that extends around the square end to the side facing us. This block also has what might be carvings on its face. And in the background, guess what? More anomalies as well. They're all over the place here. By the way, if you are an anomaly hunter or are interested in becoming one, you can follow the links in the description below to each of these images and you can find all of the anomalies like this one is full of anomalies and uh, feel free extract them process them and present them uh, this is just something i focused on and uh, it's over there in the lower right hand corner doesn't look like much from here does it now this was a real surprise to me when i first zoomed in on it a ferocious face lies in the sand wearing a carved headdress and sporting facial tattoos, rather like a Maori warrior. Needle-like teeth extend from the upper jaw, while the toothless lower jaw is snapped off and lying in the sand in front. Now, forget conservative speculation on this one. Is this some kind of deity statue, perhaps a cannibal god? Why else the fierce expression? and needle-like teeth, or is it a ceremonial mask of some sort? It does appear to be hollow, as if you could pick it up and place it on your head. Along with the many other goblin heads we've found on Mars, it looks more and more like at least some of the ancient Martians were scary dudes who would have given the Aztecs a run for their money. Here's another great find by Jim West, over there in the left corner. Looks kind of innocuous from here, doesn't it? So, riddle me this, Batman. How many rocks have you seen with a shiny wheel sticking out? And levers? None, you say? Can't see I've seen too many myself. I hope you'll forgive me for more irresponsible speculation, but the first thing that my mind latched onto was... That's a drill press. Let's move in really tight for a good look. So what do you think? Is this an ancient machine groating away in the sand? Or an amazing vent effect formed by wind and sand? My buddy Laszlo made this great find just recently in Nev's Gigapan of 26. 92. But you know, before we move in on this thing, take a look at the square piece lying in the target area. When you go to the pan, you'll see what could be metal flooring plates all lying together in a big square. 
Now, I'm not going to take time to go into that today, but if you go to the link, you'll see what I mean. There's anomalies everywhere in this one, folks, but let's stay on track. As far as I'm concerned, that's a stone column with a square capital. It's carved with decorations around the top that have straight, even lines and right angles. And what about that circular carving about halfway down the visible portion? And let's not forget the little bug-eyed, pot-bellied lizard taking a stroll in front of the column. Let's move in. Inside that carved circle is a symbol that reminds me of the Tree of Life glyphs we find everywhere in ancient cultures. It's a little bit too indistinct to make a clear call on it, but it is compelling. And as for that little critter in front, what's that all about? It's probably just pareidolia, and it's not a living thing. But is it attached to the pillar, like some of the carved animals we find at Gobekli Tempe? This is a great find, Laszlo. Nice work. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. And you know, if you liked what you saw, well, the only way I know that I should continue doing this is if you maybe give me a thumbs up or even possibly subscribe. That'd be great. This is your buddy Dave over Mars X3D. Be well.